If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over the cheapest and fastest way to get training in Madden 22. Now, I had not made this video yet this year because this is a video that tends to get watched quite a bit throughout the year. So, the problem with making it the first like, few days of Madden would have been that it's changing like every second. The problem with making it before any promos dropped would have been that once Legends stuff dropped, that changes. So, we kind of have a stable point right now where training isn't moving too much. And September typically is a month where there's not, there's not going to be anything crazy that really just destroys the market for the most part, unless we get something crazy we weren't expecting. But otherwise, before we get into the video, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, guys, shout out the Poodle Squad down below. All you got to do is comment it, like the video, and be subbed, and you guys will be shouted out. Today's shout out goes out to Joe Tuminski. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. But yeah, let's get into this. So we have to go to the values. I'll start with all of them because remember, the best value isn't always the best value, and I'll explain what I mean by that. So, sometimes the best value in the game could be players that are too expensive for you guys to really go ahead and afford. And what I mean by that is, see, sometimes the best value in the game, let's just say, might be this, it's not, but it might be this 200k Johnny Unitas, right? That's the best, most efficient training. But if you only have 200k, is it worth spending all your coins on training and now you can't even get a card to power up, you know what I mean? Like... Sometimes if you only need like 300 training points, it's not worth getting a guy that's going to be the most efficient training because, yeah, you may have gotten a better coin per training ratio, but you just spent 200k versus when you could have spent like 30k, right? So keep that in mind. Only time I buy in bulk is if you have a ton of coins and you plan to do a ton, a ton of things with training right off the rip. Remember, training's always changing too, so only invest if it's really cheap training. Otherwise, don't go buy in bulk just because you can. Now, like I said, if you plan to use a lot of training this week, you can buy in bulk. But if you just need it for like, if you just want to put one ability on, like uh, honorary alignment on Brandon Marshall, it's 500 training. If you just want to put that on, just go get 500. You don't need three grand, right? So let's start from the bottom, guys. 80 overalls. Are these a good training value? At approximately just about 11K, a little bit more, they are probably the worst training value in the game. Uh, they're coming in at around 100 coins per training, around 95, actually, 95 per coins per training. That's horrible. Do not quick sell these for training unless, like I said, you just need a quick 200. That's all you need. And they only go for 110s. So you're going to sell two of them. If you need a quick, if you need quick uh, training, you can go ahead and do it. But these are one of the ones where I'd say don't even do these. Go up a little bit. The 81s are a little bit better at around 71 coins per training because they're right there. But again, they only quick sell for 160. Wouldn't really recommend that. If this get a little bit better to so go to the 82 to 83s, which is actually one of the better training values in the game. Now, if you look here, guys, it's pretty simple why this is one of the better training values in the game. The 82s are 14K. And you can get some 83s for probably around, let's see, let's see. Do you guys see any here? 83 83 83 is around 20k which realistically you can really find them for 18 if you filter them out so think about it these are only a few k more than the 80 overalls but you're getting like 340 for the 83 trainings and then 230 for them so you're getting more than double the training for less than double the price that is it just makes sense mathematically why it's better so again if you have any 82s 83s guys i would recommend quick selling them i'm gonna go through i'm gonna tell you guys the ones i recommend quick selling what i mean by that is if, you, if you're in your binder right sometimes you need a quick training and you're like look at the 80s like should i just quick sell my base leads the only base leads I'd recommend really quick selling current so far as we get through the video, the 82 and 83s make that list. They are approximately around 52 to 53 coins for training. That's one of the best values in the game. So 82 to 83s, I will I will say they're safe to quick sell. Do not be, do not be scared to quick sell the 82 to 83s. 80s to 81s do not touch. 84s actually do go ahead and get a pretty good training value. Again, it's slightly worse than the 82 to 83s, but it's so similar, guys. If you if you have them, don't don't mind it. It's 53 coins per training versus. 53.7 for the 82 uh, for the 84s and the 82s are 53.2 and the 83s are 52.9 so 83s are the best of the three but it's so close guys don't sweat it if you get one of these it's fine you can always snap them out now this is this is uh, saying if you get them for around 26k 27k so you probably can if you filter them out 84s aren't bad but like i said the 82 to 83s are slightly better now the 85s actually are apparently the best value in the uh the best value of the ones mentioned they're gonna be even better than the other ones now the 85 is coming at around 37k so you're gonna see right here like the michael strand again this is gonna be unfiltered i'm gonna have to filter these but you filter out you can get him for around 37 to 40k you're getting him for around 52 coins per training which is actually a really good price 52.2 the other the 83s are 52.9 and again, if you guys don't know how this conversion works you pretty much just divide the total amount of coins by the amount of training you get and that tells you exactly how much you're going to get per training right every training point is this many coins uh very simple now 
Michael Strahan, again, the 85s are one of the best values. Now, if we move it on up to the 86 to 87s, the 86s fall in one of the lower end categories at 62 to 65k guys it's only going to be 60 coins per training which is actually pretty low for a train uh, for a training value right now considering we're just working in the 50s i wouldn't recommend these but on the other end the 87s are actually a really really good training value and so frank quite frankly is the best one in the game if you come on down the 87s for this value go for 78k so if you come on down to the 87s right justin tucker is actually even cheaper than that if you filter you can probably get them even better Justin Tucker, 77, just sold. Okay, that was a pretty good price. Um, if you can get the 87s for 78K or around it, you're going to be getting the best training value in the game at 52.00 exactly. Now, again, I want to reiterate this, guys. So, right now, the best ones in ranking, the 87s are the best, followed by the 85 overalls, followed by 83 and 82s, and then 84s. I'd recommend if you can get anything from 87, 85, 83, 82, 84, 90 overall, those are pretty solid values. Anything beyond that, I wouldn't really touch because it gets it gets it gets like high enough to where it will make a difference. Now, again, if you're just gonna get like 200 training points worth of, you're not really saving too much coins. But if you do this go over the course of the year and you add up how many coins you saved per training, like the 80 overalls are almost 100, the 87s are almost 50. That's double. So if you spend throughout the year a million coins on training, if you had bought the 80s instead, you would have spent two million coins on training because it's double. I know doesn't sound like a lot initially, but it will be a lot if you really add it up over the course of the year and you'll probably spend over a million in training. But Overall, my best advice is this, guys. Like I said, when you want to go power up a player, and if the player costs, let's say, like, the, uh, the Brandon Marshall costs, like, three grand of power up in training, plus abilities, you're going to need about 4K worth of training. That is the case when maybe going ahead and just buying in bulk makes sense. So the 87s are 1,500 quick sell. You'll need three of them. So, yeah, that'll be 200K worth of training, but it's worth it because you're getting the best values. Now, let's say you want to put an X factor on that only costs 500 training, and you see the 84s are a slightly worse value by 1.7 1, 1. coins than the best value, which isn't, which isn't a lot, but they have 490 trading for the quick sell. So you wanna go ahead and buy that one. So if you're just buying for one specific instance, right? Like one specific instance, I recommend buying something close that's still a good value while doing all that. But don't go ahead and go like, okay, I need 500 coins, but the 84s go, I need 500 training, but the 84s go for 53 coins per training and the 87s go for 52. So I'm gonna go buy the 87. Well, that's not exactly a good idea because 500 training only costs you 26K. If you buy the best value, you'll go up to all the way to almost 80K. So it's like, do you wanna lose 80K worth of training? Cause you don't get that back. Really, like when you buy training, you're pretty much exchanging coins for a currency that you can't really exchange back. Unless you do rerolls, which I don't like to do. So I, like I said, if you have a lot of coins to spare, you can buy in bulk at the best values. But if you're, if you're working like, you know, week by week, just making just enough to buy a new player and power them up and stuff, don't go ahead and burn it in training because when new stuff comes out, it's some, it's going to be harder to convert that training efficiently back to your coins, kind of like exchanging currencies. But that pretty much wraps up the video. Again, best value in the games are 87s, followed very closely by 85s, and then 83s and 82s are almost tied. And then, of course, the worst value in the game are 80s. Do not quick sell your 80s. I've done it already, and I regret it. I was just getting quick training for a video and I regret doing it because you could sell like 1080 overalls. You could sell like you could sell 1080 overalls and only get a thousand training and it would have cost you over hundred K. Meanwhile, you could have just bought an 87 and you would have got 500 more training and spent 25 K less. So that's a good example, right? If you quick sell an 87 at 78 K a piece, you get 1500 training. If you had a quick sold almost 10 eighties right off the rip, you would only have a slightly over a hundred thousand training, but you would have spent over hundred K. So you save 30,000 coins and make 500 more training. That is the difference of buying efficiently. Now, again, like I said, if they're close in overalls and range, it doesn't matter as much. But if you do the worst to the best, you see the difference. But that's about it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you need coins or training and you can't afford them, head to Mutt Reserve down below. They do sell training. They also do sell coins. Make sure to go pick it up over there. Use code Poodle at checkout. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.